rare form of bone cancer. A Bay Area 12 year old is now strong enough to go to our nation's capital and do battle with Congress to help save Medicaid. News Channel 8's Anthony Allred caught up with her at Tampa International Airport where she talked about what she hopes to accomplish over the next two days. This was our first week in the hospital when we first got diagnosed. Natalia was eight years old. Looking back at some of the pictures and what was some of the worst days in her young life. This is the first time she stood after having her um, being in the hospital for a whole month. She had a radiation burn. Natalia Rickaball still remembers the pain. It was a lot of pain. The worst was probably a spica because I couldn't do anything. I would just have to lay in bed and it was like a lot of pain and I couldn't really handle it. I actually thought it was a a boil in her leg, the lump, and when they said it was cancer, I was just terrorized. I was in shock. I couldn't believe it. It was it was a numbing effect, really. Natalia was diagnosed with the rare form of bone cancer called Ewing sarcoma, and after four years of multiple surgeries, aggressive chemotherapy, and daily radiation treatment, she's ready to go to Capitol Hill and fight for Medicaid. Without Medicaid or without any of this, I wouldn't be able to be here and this wouldn't happen. Now, Natalia's trip to our nation's capital is all part of Family Advocacy Day. She'll join 50 other pediatric patients from across the United States to convince Congress to keep children's Medicaid. Each person has their own story, but for us, it is a lifeline. It, we're going to need this for, for a long time. Natalia wants to tell her story to Florida lawmakers and put a face on the more than 30 million children, just like her, who use Medicaid. In Tampa, Anthony Allred. It might seem difficult, but there's always, like, hope. News Channel 8.